it's Miss Stephanie from South Pod Cradle School. I'm with Creekside, Lakewood, and Cecilia Valley. So let's get started with Cradle School today. Today we're going to talk about outer space. But first, let's count how many flowers I have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good counting, friends. Let's clap it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now let's do it backwards. Can you hold your fingers up? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. And if you said blast off, you're in the right place because we're talking about spaceships and astronauts. All right, friends, stand up and get ready to dance with me. Listen so you can follow directions and see what movements we do next. Dance, two, three, Just dance four, back and forth. Five, six, seven, eight, three, Freeze. Three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Melt. Remember, you're melting to the ground like an ice cube. Now jump. Jump up high. Freeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now melt. Like all the ice does when the sun comes up. All the snow melts. Still. got one more song. <laughs> All right, friends, let's get ready to zoom, zoom, zoom to the moon like an astronaut. Attention all astronauts, please report to the rocket ship. You guys already know what to do, right? Thank you. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. zoom. We're going to the moon. If you, you want to take, take a trip, trip, climb aboard, aboard my rocket, rocket ship. ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. zoom. We're, We're going, going to the moon. moon. Get ready to count. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Let's do it one more time. Take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off or blast off. Good job, friends. friends have a seat and get ready to listen turn on your listening ears and then when you know the color I want you to say it out loud pink green red blue white orange Purple, yellow. Good job, friends. Keep looking for colors all around you. They're everywhere. 
Now we're going to do our shapes. You can also find your shapes all around the world. This one we don't see very much. It has six sides. It's a hexagon. Square. We see squares everywhere. You might have a square window, a book that's a square, circle, triangle, trapezoid. That's another one we don't see very often. Oval, pentagon, rectangle, and diamond or rhombus. I want you to look for all those shapes, even the ones we don't see much, all around your world, okay? All right, friends, today we're talking about space. This is a picture of the solar system. This is in outer space, and I'm gonna tell you some space facts. Some of you already know about space. You know about the sun and the moon and the planets. We live on the planet Earth. It's this one, if you can see it. Your grown-up can help you look up pictures of space, too. There's lots of cool videos and songs and even more facts than I'm going to tell you today. So, what is space? Well, space is the area right outside of Earth. It's also known as outer space. Unlike Earth, there's no air in space. The air we breathe here, they don't have that in space. So it's dark and it's completely quiet. Just like that, no noise. And that's why astronauts, the people that go into space, have special suits. It helps them breathe when they leave their spaceship. So let's see, what's in space? Well, right now we see there's a sun. We know there's a moon, there's planets. We know there's stars. There's also asteroids and comets, meteoroids, meteors, meteor showers, meteorites, dwarf planets, and robotic spacecraft explorers. There's all kinds of stuff, even more than what I just said in space. So I suggest you get on YouTube with your grown up and look up some more space stuff because it's really cool. All right, let's talk about what astronauts do. I know you've all seen astronauts and their special suits they wear, but what do they do? Why do they go to space? Well, they do research for us. That's how we learn more about space because nobody lives up there. We all live on planets, but there are space stations out in space and that's where astronauts can stay and do their research. They might get out and explore, but remember there's no air, there's no gravity. They could just float around, so they have to have a special thing called a tether to keep them tethered to their home. Now, the solar system that we're in has eight planets, Mercury, Mars, Earth, Venus, Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, Neptune, and Saturn. Let's count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you know that? And do you guys remember what I said we live on? Earth. Now, right now, we only know Earth as the planet that has people on it, and that's where we live. Someday, maybe we'll get to go to the moon. Astronauts have been, and some people have been, but right now, nobody lives up there. Nobody really goes there. But there are tire tracks from the robots we've sent up there and astronauts have gone up there. You'll have to look at videos of that too. It's pretty cool. So our solar system is part of the Milky Way. I'm sure you heard of a candy bar called Milky Way, but the Milky Way is out in space. There's so much more to know about space. I want you to tell me what you learn, all right? All right, friends, today we're gonna look at astronaut Pete and read Pete the Cat out of this world. We see a spaceship the moon, and Pete. Let's see what happens when Pete goes to space. It's a great day. Pete the cat is going to space camp. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Pete meets his bunk mate, Glenn. As they unpack, there is an announcement. Welcome space campers. Please head to the classroom. 
Your mission begins now. Time to suit up, says Pete. He and Glenn put on their uniforms and race to class. There are so many cool things to do and super neat stuff to see. Astronauts Tom and Chris talk about the trips they're taking and they give a sneak peek at the future space trips. It would be totally rad to go to space, says Pete. Look, he's looking at the planets just like we did. The campers find out what it feels like to be an astronaut. They go in the zero gravity chamber. They ride in rovers. They even build rockets. Pete's rocket flies very, very far. Way to go, Pete, shouts Glenn. You know how we count down and do blasts off? That's when the rockets go into space. Next stop is mission control. We have some exciting news, says Tom. Our next flight leaves today. We're going to the room and we have room for more. We're going to the moon and we have room for more. Oh, Pete might get to go to the moon. Pete, do you wanna go? Asked Sally. That would be awesome, says Pete. It's time to buckle up and settle into the space capsule. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Their ship speeds through the space. They blast past a satellite and even spot a comet. See that? Tom and Sally have a rockin' surprise for Pete, his guitar. He plays groovy interstellar songs for them. Mission Control listens in. In no time at all, they arrive on the moon. They are ready to explore. The astronauts collect rocks and map out the moon's surface. Pete has a very important job to do. He straps on a jetpack and heads toward Mars. He takes tons of pictures. Oh no, Pete lost track of time and the moon is far, far away. He has to make it back to the ship before it blasts off. Phew, Pete made it back to the spaceship in time. The astronauts head home and there's time for a few more tunes. Pete sure knows how to make an entrance. Pete's trip to outer space was out of this world. Still, he's psyched to have his feet back on solid ground. Rock it on, Pete. Look at them dressed just like astronauts with their special helmets. That was pretty fun. Let's read one more. All right, friends, if you'll sit just a little bit longer, we have one more, and this was, there was an old lady astronaut who swallowed the moon. You've probably seen this lady before. She has lots of different books, but today we're doing the one about space. There was an old astronaut who swallowed the moon. I don't know why she swallowed the moon. It happened at noon. Is the moon really out during the day? Of course the moon never goes away. There was an old astronaut who swallowed a star. It was bizarre to swallow a star. She swallowed the star to shoot for the moon. I don't know why she swallowed the moon. It happened at noon. How does the moon stay in the sky? Gravity's force keeps it up high. There was an old astronaut who swallowed a planet. It tasted like granite when she swallowed the planet. She swallowed the planet to orbit the star. She swallowed the star to shoot for the moon. I don't know why she swallowed the moon. It happened at noon. Listen for all these rhyming words we hear. The star closest to Earth is the sun. Our solar system has only one. There was an old astronaut who swallowed a comet. 
Just like an omelet, she swallowed that comet. She swallowed the comet to light up the planet. She swallowed the planet to orbit the star. She swallowed the star to shoot for the moon. I don't know why she swallowed the moon. It happened at noon. Why does the comet leave a bright trail? Heat from the sun creates a tail. There was an old astronaut who swallowed a meteoroid. She really enjoyed that meteoroid. She swallowed the meteoroid to fly with the comet. She swallowed the comet to light up the planet. She swallowed the planet to orbit the star. She swallowed the star to shoot for the moon. I don't know why she swallowed the moon. It happened at noon. That meteoroid made a loud sound. It's a meteorite when it hits the ground. There was an old astronaut who swallowed a rocket. It was next on the docket, a powerful rocket. She swallowed the rocket to catch the meteoroid. She swallowed the meteoroid to fly with the comet. She swallowed the comet to light up the planet. She swallowed the planet to orbit the star. Look, a little alien. She swallowed the star to shoot for the moon. I don't know why she swallowed the moon. It happened at noon. How long is this trip to outer space? Depends on the rocket's size, power, and pace. There was an old astronaut who swallowed a satellite. It went down just right, that bright satellite. There was an old astronaut who wanted to fly and spent all her time looking up high. at the planetarium's brightly lit sky. There is so much to learn about the stars, moon, and sun, so turn the page for more reading fun. These are just lots of facts about outer space. Remember, I want you to look those up because there's so much we didn't get to talk about today. And you can probably find this book online too. All right, friends, before we go, let's talk about our crafts we have this week. So I want you to start here and pretend to be an astronaut and you can trace all the way to the sun, the earth, or to your astronaut buddy. If you don't want to trace, you can cut or even better, you can do both. So use those lines as your guide. Remember, we need lots of practice with writing and cutting to get us ready. We build our finger muscles to get us ready for all the writing we're gonna do when we get bigger. All right, our next craft is building our own rocket. You'll have all the supplies to do this. So here's mine. There's a little window for the astronaut. There's a little alien. You see the fire coming out to get them into space. I've got stars, I've got all kinds of stuff. And I'll send you guys all this too. Then you'll have a little piece that goes on the top. It'll look just like a rocket ship. I can't wait to see yours, so please send me pictures. And the last thing we're doing, and mine is just kind of simple. I'll send you some different materials to make your own. I'd love it if you'd get creative. We're making our own planets. You're gonna put it on a stick. You can put it in Play-Doh or put it in a styrofoam block or anywhere you have to hold it up. I use Play-Doh to make the Earth. I want you to put it in a ball because all of the planets are in a ball shape, a sphere, but they don't all look the same. So I want you to get creative. You can put rings around yours with the materials I send. You can paint it different colors. Everyone will get a ball and you get creative with it, okay? All right, that's our crafts for the week. I hope you had fun learning about space and let's do our goodbye song now. All right, friends, stand up and let's do our goodbye song together. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, what a wonderful child you are. Big bright eyes and nice round cheeks, talented person from head to feet. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, what a wonderful astronaut you are. Bye friends. Yeah.